Chicago Bulls fan, it's the Cognac Bulls. We about to break down two NBA prospects to see who's the better prospect for the Chicago Bulls. Kai Soto from the Philippines or Kofi Coburn from Jamaica, Oman. Right after this. Cognac. Gang. Shy Bulls Podcast with the Cognac Boys. I'm Cognac Boy Bobby, and I'm with my dog, C-Dub. How you doing, boy? Man, I'm straight. How y'all feeling out there? What up, On nephew? This beautiful Sunday. is busting, my boy. We got Kai Soto coming up and Kofi Coburn today. Ladies and gentlemen, it's about to get real juicy because we know how y'all do it. C-Dub, who you introducing to the people, my boy? I'm going to bring... To their attention, this 7'2", 232-pound center from the 36ers of the Australian Basketball League, Kai Soto. Last year, and I think that was his only year, he dropped 7.5 points per game, 0.8 blocks per game, and 4.4 rebounds per game. He shot 50% from the field. Who you got, nephew? I got coming out from Jamaica, seven feet, 285 pounds. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Mr. Kofi Coburn, my guy. This guy put up 20 points, 10 rebounds, one block, went from 60% from the field, and he was all big 10, C dub. Hey, yes. just real quick, look at the different in body mass between these young fellas. <laughs> <laughs> It Look is like night difference. and day. No, no, really. It, it definitely crazy. was. <laughs> it definitely was. So, C Dub, today we gonna break down the difference between these two and come to a conclusion on who's the better prospect for the Chicago Bulls: Kai Soto or Kofi Coburn. C Dub, how we breaking it down? How we starting first, my boy? Let's start off with the defense, which is gonna be the most important part of their game if they want to come to the Chicago Bulls. And um, when I when I think about the both of them, I like I like both of their sides. Both of them are obviously big men, with Kofi being the bigger man, uh, <laughs> almost at three hundred pounds. Um, I like their length. They look like they can block a lot of shots out there. Um, I worry about some footwork from from both of them, honestly. Footwork from both of them, but they can guard that paint a little bit for you. Maybe if they uh, get in the NBA and maybe get on some diets or maybe gain some pounds. It's opposite. I think Kofi need to lose a couple pounds to get better athletically, even though he's monstrous athletically. And Kai Soto, he need to gain some weight. He need to eat him some burgers and some hot links and some whatever's out there. This man said hot links. <laughs> but I think both of them can be incredible defensively in the paint. They not not another they can't go out like like Giannis or something, like sticking the perimeter They're mainly old school centers guarding that paint dude uh i'm with you on that man i definitely feel like kai soto needs to go out there put on a little bit of weight um just he what you said what 230 go yeah, right now man yeah. just give me another 10 pounds get 240 245 and i think he'll be decent enough to be able to uh take some of that punishment that he'll take once he get to the nba and on the flip side i'm with you on kofi Definitely need to go ahead and drop a few pounds just to build up some body mass. To body mass, 285. But he is a big guy, so that kind of the weight and the height probably, you know, pan out a little bit. But when you uh, dissect, dissecting both of these prospects, to me, I think they're one and the same. Now, when it comes down to, you know, what I'm saying, because if you look at it, both of both of these guys is you. We just gonna say that they averaging one block per game, like at seven feet. My yeah. eyes say you supposed to be having more than that. I wish I was seven feet. I tell y'all this all the damn time. Well, probably not seven feet, but damn, give me a few more inches, God. What happened? You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> he talking about what happened. <laughs> what happened? You feel me? But it's all good. But um, I think these guys definitely need to improve on moving their feet. But you know what I'm saying? And uh, because it's gonna be in, in the NBA, it's a lot of guys that's a 
It's a lot of athletic guys out there. And a lot of the times, what's being ran now is pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll, pick and roll. Y'all know that's our song, but we're going to continue. Uh, but they running that pick and roll. They collapsing defense, and they dishing out to three-point shooters. If these guys want to be able to be productive in the NBA, they're going to be able to slide. They're going to have to slide their feet. I like what some of these guys are doing with be able to make up for those blow bys and get their hands up to deflect some shots. I like that. But it's definitely still a little bit of improvement. So my question for you is, C-Dub, who are you giving the edge in when it comes to Kai Soto and Kofi Coburn on defense? I want to I wanna preface this because uh, Kofi Coburn played in an NCAA against, you know, like-aged young men. Uh, he actually played in some pretty competitive games. They was in the NCAA tournament. So we got to take his this into perspective that this kid Kai Soto he played in the professional league with grown men in the ABA at the Australian Basketball League um I'm gonna go with I'm gonna surprise you and go with Kai Soto because I still think he's a young man he can still learn some things on defense you know he's what is he 18 19 yeah, 20 man. years old mm -hmm. um uh, Kofi's young too but I like his upside on defense, this guy, Kai Soto. I think he can do more things than than uh, Kofi because Kofi's, a, you know, he's a little, he's he dragging a lot. And okay. Kodo, he just needs to gain more. So I'm going to go with Kai Soto. I'm going to go Kofi. I'm going to go Kofi simply because I believe that the, the body mass and stuff has allowed him to be able to take some of that punishment and i don't think it's by a great edge i'm gonna just give them the slight edge over kai soto because their games in my opinion are very similar yeah. uh, jet at least on the defensive side my boy so i'm gonna give it on kofi especially i don't i think uh when you look at those 10 rebounds i believe that's something that separates him from kai but you did have a valid point with saying that he played with grown men and that's a big thing you know what i'm saying yes. you're playing well you're playing against grown men and some of those grown men even come from the united states to go play overseas and stuff like that so for me i'm gonna still lean on kofi coburn but now c dub it's time to dive into the offensive game go ahead and break it down my boy yeah on the offensive game they both pretty similar they really similar in all aspects uh, you ain't going to ask them to go out there and shoot three pointers. You mostly going to have them finish and pick and rolls and, and get it in that, uh, lob position in the corner, you know, right there in the paint the corner. Uh, I think both of them will be able to do that eventually in this NBA. Um, I like the size is a size piece for everything. They seven feet. So once they get close enough to the basket, it should be a bucket. Obviously, Kofi Coburn is ahead of the game, ahead of the curve, averaging 20 points per game. I think for the last couple seasons, uh, his power, it, it, it just makes people don't want to contest the shot. This kid might have some problems in the NBA. He's a little light in the ass. Uh, <laughs> Kai Soto, they really going to test the kid. He got to be up for the test. He got to go up and, and finish with power. I don't want to see no finesse, finessing, trying to go bank uh, layups, no finger rolls. Don't get hard like Kofi. What you got, nephew? Man, I'm going to tell you this. Kofi Coburn, when that boy do them damn putbacks. Yes. He, ro he rocking the island of Jamaica when he do that motherfucker. Yes. <laughs> he put that thing down with some aggression. And I like it. And 20 points a game is nothing that you're supposed to bat an eye, eye at. You know what I'm saying? You not, you cannot. I don't think you can overlook that. But it is the, it's the NCAA. But I think a lot of those, a lot of that stuff from his game can translate over to the NBA. You know what I'm saying? Simply because, bro, the, the guy big as hell. Yes. Seven feet, two eighty five. It ain't a lot of centers that's that height in that weight. You know what I'm saying? Not, not in this new age basketball. But then on the flip side, we got Kai Soto, C-Dub. And something that Kai Soto was doing that I really like, the man, he was coming with some putbacks, but he also got a little floater too. So he yeah. added to that. You know what I'm saying? He's adding to that. I even seen the man do a pick and pop shot. I ain't mm -hmm. never seen Kofi do that. No. So, man, but when you compare the two, I think that, like, just going, I'm going to just dive right into it, bro. I, I, Me personally, I'm going to get Kai Soto the edge on that one. Kai Soto has a look uh if you if you have two tool bags you got one with a screwdriver and a hammer that's kofi 
you get but with Kai Soto, you got a screwdriver, a hammer, and a drill. So, <laughs> so it, it ain't too much more than Kofi, but that teardrop shot and that pick and pop shot would definitely help uh in off your team on offense. Yeah, but yeah, I feel you. And I definitely can't, you know what I'm saying, feel bad about that pick that you did. But I'm gonna go with Kofi Coburn. Because I, I, I just can't overlook and act like I'm blind and don't see 20 points per game in the last couple of seasons. Uh, this guy's a monster. He's going to stick to what he does. When you do something well, you stick to it and you improve on it. You improve on that thing that makes you makes you mm-hmm. that bad. That boy is an absolute rim wrecker. <laughs> and, and I think he will do that in the, in the NBA. If, even if it's with the Chicago Bulls, baby. But my pick is... Uh, Kofi Coburn from Jamaica, the Bumba Clot. <laughs> 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 All right, man. So we talked offense, we talked defense, and we already know what's the most important things when these teams go into the draft room. They talk about who has that upside to take the next step once they hit the NBA and potentially can be a great investment for your franchise. C Dub, go ahead and kick that thing off. Ooh, this if you tough. just close your eyes for two seconds, one, two, boom. Now your ass at the UC in the month draft room, <laughs> and your pick about to come up, and you got a pick between Kofi Coburn and Kai Soto, just solely based off upside. Who got the most upside? between these two. <laughs> oh man, beautifully put. Beautifully put, nephew. Uh I can close my eyes. I can go with either one, but seeing that we are the Cognac boys, we going to pick one. <laughs> and I'm going to have to pick <sighs> Kofi Coburn. I just got to keep it but Kofi Coburn. Um I think if we work with this kid, he can be a Dwight Howard type. But this is a problem with that. Dwight Howard just really does not fit in this this you know this time of the NBA the the three point shooting and um, fast break break three point shooting and clogging up the lane and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But I think this kid can be special for a team that that has the right kind of uh, environment around him. He can be a special team for us. If, even if it, it could be for us, we can bring him from you know got a developer he'll be a project you know he big you know i don't know how how well he'll do in the nba kai soto got the same type of problems in the other facets though he he a little light in the britches you know what i'm saying let him try let, just see him trying to box out draymond green or something draymond green gonna tear him apart you know what i'm <laughs> saying but i'm gonna go with kofi coburn i like what i've seen he's earned this he 20 points per game 10 rebounds the last couple seasons he know what he gonna do. He can improve upon that. Plus, he been playing. He played with Ayo Dusumu, the Nigerian nightmare. nightmare. So that's an extra <laughs> added points and extra added credit. If I had to choose, and I'm in that Chicago Bulls office, give me Kofi Coburn, that boom bakla. Well, if we was in the room at the same time, we'd be arguing. <laughs> <laughs> Because me, man, I like Kofi, man. And as you mentioned, bro, 20 points, 10 rebounds, you cannot bat an eye out, man. But I just feel like Kai Soto has the body of today's NBA center, man. Like, and I'm going to just break it down real quick. Kofi, I like this guy. And there's no disrespect to him. But he reminds me of two centers in the league. Well, several centers, but I'm going to just name two in the league that you could play through three four like three and a half quarters but once times get close or when a uh, team just go pick and roll pick and roll pick and roll pick and roll you gotta pull his ass out simply put those two fellas are steven adams and rudy gobert <laughs> yeah simply put you can't have them guys in that clutch time and i feel like kai soto has the 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 body type of today's center plus as mentioned before, he comes with a little bit more in his tool bag. I haven't seen Kofi Coburn shoot a three. 
But I seen Kai Soto shoot a three. Is the percentage, he don't take many, but when he take it, he averaging 38% from the three. Then, as mentioned before, he got the little floater. He just got a little bit more. I don't feel like, I feel like the project wouldn't have, it wouldn't be so much with Kai Soto. It's still going to be a project because you're like, dude, you seven feet. You ain't even averaging five rebounds. For sure. <laughs> and you playing between 20 and 30 minutes a game. You need more than that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's a problem for me. But, you know what I'm saying? I feel like Kofi Coburn, he, po he poses more problems than what Kato Kai Soto brings. So, that's just me. So, with my 18 pick, if I was picking between the two, I'm going Kai Soto. You can't do nothing but honor it. It's really a toss up. No, no, it's really real. a toss up. Definitely. Don't they about even. You feel Definitely. me? Definitely. Y'all let us know what y'all think out there. Who y'all got if y'all working in the Chicago Bulls office? You feel Definitely. me? Are y'all going with Kofi or Kai Soto? Damn, it is a difference. You see the difference? One more time, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the difference. Look at the difference. One more time. Look how big this, this guy is with two hundred hanging out. Now look at this guy. Look how lean <laughs> this guy is. <laughs> look how lean that young fella is. I got more meat on my little ass <laughs> body than him. Come on now. But <laughs> hey, y'all let us know in the comments. Comment Kai if you want the bull. If you want, if you think Kai Soto is a better NBA prospect for the Chicago Bulls, or comment Kofi Coburn. If you think he's better NBA prospect for the Chicago Bulls. But then make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've been rocking with that gang, thanks for rocking with the Cognac Voice. None of this is possible without y'all rocking with us. We on our road to 2K, then 5K, then 10K, then KKK. We oh, so low. <laughs> oh, so we out here and we gone, baby. Cognac. Cognac. Gang.